Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back, and today is episode 4, so we are actually going to be jumping into another DLC today. Not to actually do the DLC, but to get gear out of it. Uh, we just finished a bad mob farming, that wasn't too bad, and now all of our gear is eh, slightly underleveled, level 8, 11, 5. So, we need some upgrades, because doing Bloodshot right now would not be very ideal. Uh, enemies would kind of wreck my face, even though I'm pretty sure we'd be fine because we do have the fastball. Uh, so we're going to go off to Wham Bam DLC here because Wham Bam is a very, very nice farm. We're not doing the DLC, like I said, we're just getting some gear out of this. And the cool thing here is there's a chest right there. You can see it. So we literally spawn in and run over there, get the chest and farm until we get like small upgrades. And because we're in normal mode, we're just, um, you know, good to use anything we want. We don't have to like have a really good setup. So let's see here. Let's see if there's anything good. I do think I want to get an adaptive. Um, I might look into that. Uh, we don't need that either. So I'm going to be farming the vendor for grenades and then this vendor for shields, maybe a class mod. And then from here, we can run over to the side and grab this chest right here. And now I think I can't recall. I'm going to find out right now. I think Krieg can grenade jump up it. Uh, barely makeable. So I'm going to take the grenade off. Do a grenade jump here. Yeah, he can. Cool. Uh, there's a few ways you could do this farm. You could either grenade jump up, or you could actually grab it from down here. Just jump and, like, you know, take it from the back. Uh, also, you could do this. Jump into this corner. You'll get caught. Back up a tiny, teeny bit. Crouch. Go left. And then you're here. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep farming. And, yeah, this is going to be a lot of farming, so I am going to put up a farm. And I will meet you guys when I get something. Hopefully something good. Also, I am going to be selling gear for money because this stuff is quite expensive and we don't really have a whole lot. Uh, so yeah, we're going to sell everything we pick up out the chest and sell that off. And maybe something here. Nope, keep it going. Wow. Yeah, if I wasn't doing the fastball, I would probably take that. But yeah, we're going to pass up on that. Uh, I should mention too, I do want to find a longbow like Tesla for stacking later on as a low level. Uh, also, maybe a longbow corrosive cloud for a trick later on I will show off. And nothing here. Oh. Mm. Okay, so shield parts are different. This is um, Hyperion, which is plus three on the special, which is your elemental resistance and your max HP. Ancient plus two on the special. And then you have Torg here, this uh, shape right here. That's negative five. So with all that, this is uh, five, if you add these together. And then Torg is negative five. So it's a zero grade, which isn't terrible. So I'm going to pick it up for now. That is a little tiny upgrade, but I will keep farming for better. Oh! Oh, wait, no, sorry. <laughs> I forgot, we're playing Krieg. We don't need cooldown, because cooldown's, you know, taken care of by taking damage. Slag, alright, nothing great there. Good money, though. Ah, there we go. So we're gonna take that for Clan Wars later on. I will buy that. Uh, there's a trick we could do with it, and I will show you that when we uh, actually get there. It's a little ways from now, but it will happen. Oh, okay, here we go. This is actually what you want for Krieg. Max HP. <laughs> Oh, here we go. So we have a Jacob Sniper with a Vladoff Barrel, so really, really good fire rate. We're going to take that. And actually, I didn't even see that. That is Malawan Barrel on a Snyder. So the Slag Chance, 69.9. Uh, really, really high Slag Chance per pellet. Uh, we'll take that for Slag, which means we can get rid of this pistol, which is really not that great for Slag. Um, yeah, decent setup. I do want to get one more weapon and also a Longbow um, Tesla. So I'm going to look for that, and then, yeah, we can move on. Oh, oh, wow, that's a good launcher. So, Vladoff Barrel is going to give you a little bit of rocket speed, which you definitely want. And that part right there on top means it's damage prefix, which will be the big prefix. Uh, grip can be better. Uh, Band exhaust means one more in the mag. Yeah, I know my weapon parts. Big bomb, 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 blah, 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 I can't even know. Um, yeah, that'd be nice for second wins, which I don't think we really need. I might just use it for, like, destroying bosses. I will hang on to it. Oh, okay, Jacob's Pistol, I think I can work with that. That should be fine. That is damage prefix on a Corrosive, which we do have a couple loaders coming up, so I think I'll take that too. At the bare minimum, I do like getting a Jacob Sniper. That's really good for any combat coming up. And as for the grenade, I do want to hunt for that Tesla, so I might only start farming the vendor now instead of running all the way over here. Hmm, we did find a lobbed, but I kind of want longbow. Longbow's a lot better for the delivery. A uh, lob does technically take time to travel, so I'm going to be a little bit picky here. And that is a terrible part of shield. Okay, a slightly better shield. I am going to pick that up. The parts are pangolin. That's a negative three on the special. 
Hyperion, that's a plus three, so they cancel out. And then we have Tidywerp for plus one, so it's a plus one grade. So it's literally only one grade better than our previous shield. And also level 18, so that is a benefit. Level 17. Oh, keep in mind too, the vendor items are going to be 18, 17, 16. The whole DLC scaled 18 because I entered it at 18. But the chest over there is always going to be 18. So if you do want to farm for items on level, like guaranteed, on the chest. Well, I mean, if you're offering, I don't see why not. I'm not going to go over parts every time, but that is an upgrade, so I will be replacing the shield I just got. And if I'm smart, I would sell it for money, so let me do that. Beautiful. Wow, look at the round number. Anyways, uh, same run. We found this in a vendor, too. I'm not going to buy that. That's too good. Uh, I want to make sure, you know, we have realistic things here you guys can follow along with. And I'm going to say right now, you don't need zero fuse. You don't need longbow. I'm just being very, very picky. And that was, you know, not that bad. Uh, we got it decently fast. I know 69 runs seems like a lot, but I mean, keep in mind, we're literally running from here to there. Uh, that was only like, what, 20 minutes of farming, maybe? Uh, so yeah, we can get out of here. So our setup is going to be a Snyder. Good sniper for range, launcher for second wind, so whatever. Decent shield, we got more HP, and of course we have our longbow Tesla, uh, which is for our later build. We're not doing that yet. So we'll put on the fastball, we have our blister. And yeah, pretty much we don't really have a synergy build really going on besides fastball for HP. Everything else is kind of whatever. We don't really have a build. You could say it's melee build right now, but technically there's not really a build build yet. We're not really going to have a build until Bunker, which is quite later. And actually, that might be the only farming we do today, even though there are some other things I could farm, but we're not going to farm too much today. So we're going to upgrade our grenade, although that's kind of dumb. We're playing Krieg. We have unlimited grenades, pretty much. I think I do want to get a sniper upgrade because we do have that new sniper. And then pistol because we got that pistol, too. Awesome. And you guys did recommend the name. Let's see here. I wrote it down. Blitzkrieg. You know, it's a pretty cool name. So, we're going to do Blitz. Also, all caps, I know. Blitz Krieg. Because Krieg yells, you know. And if it hadn't scammed, we'll just do something random. I'm not going to check. I'm looking away. Boom. All right, we got the horn. And then, boop. Hey, not too bad. Pretty good combo. I'll take it. And also, I do have one question here. People were wondering in the comments. I've seen it a couple times for the previous video. Are you going to do this series for BL3 and for Wonderlands? I'm going to say right now, I don't enjoy those games as much as BL2. Simply putting it... Hold on, let me turn my audio down for this map too. This map is really loud. Maybe three. Uh, to keep it simple, basically, those games don't really have the playthrough flow I like. And the content I like. There, there's a lot about the game that changed... That wasn't the same that BL2 had. Some for the good, some for the bad. Like, takedowns, amazing idea. I wish they would have had more of that. Uh, low times are longer, you know. Th there's a lot of, like, pros and cons. And I don't want to get too far into the video today on, like, why I don't like the other games. But, keeping it simple, I just find BL2 to be the most fun. And that's what we're going to do. Dude over here, we'll get that. And I could do Bloodshot Skip, but I don't want to really do that. I want to focus on the combat and take him out. And you can see here, we're like very, very overleveled for farming level 18. So everything's an easy kill, easy one shot, and that's definitely what you want. Now you could, you know, push under leveled or be on level and have somewhat of a challenge. I've noticed over time, I've done that and it's fun, but I don't like struggling in a game that I've played for a very, very long time. Unless I'm doing like a challenge run like Doll Allegiance, <clears throat> Maya, sorry, uh, or some other kind of challenge run. But I want to play it smart, I want to play it uh, more laid back, so I figured we'd get the farms done and really power up for this playthrough. And that's definitely what we've done so far. Get that dude. By the way, that super is guaranteed every time. And Bloodshot's a pretty annoying map, there's a lot of mobbing, a lot of bandits, you know, running around shooting you. And this room is like the one room that everybody hates in Bloodshot. You can't leave it. You're locked in here until you kill uh, Mad Mike. And of course, Mad Mike doesn't even have a dedicated. So it's just a big room of, you know, waiting around. And I do want to point out, I'm not like bashing the game right now. I'm not like, oh, I hate this room. Oh, negative, negative. It's just the fact that I've done it so many times in the past that this room doesn't really reward you with anything. 
Like, we're not getting XP right now. We're just wasting ammo. There's nothing really going to happen here. It's just the room. So, oh, there he is. You're dead. Maybe a fastball. He had a decent launcher there. He gave me a haircut on the uh, left side of my head. Do appreciate that. Thank you. I've been uh, letting that grow out. All right. So, this thing right here, actually. Oh, I sold my Herald, didn't I? Well, we have splash damage. Uh, any splash damage right there on the wall? Oh. Wait, did it not work with that? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, like, wait, what? It should work. It's like, I played this game long enough to know that you could do that. But, yeah, if you get a grenade, like, just right there, you can hit that on the back side. Or you can even do, like, the herald shot and uh, hit it through the wall. Or you can normally go around and go up there and, like, hit the switch. But if you do, you're going to fight a super bad. And, I mean, right now, it wouldn't be that difficult to do. But uh, he is up there. There we go. And I don't really know why we're going for this chest because we're overleveled, but I just want to show it off. I just noticed. This guy right here, this is like an actual body that was placed here, not like an enemy I just killed. Uh, he's inside the, the force field, or the electric, so he died trying to enter this area. Small little detail. I like that. Really cool. Alright, let's proceed forward, and do I have my pistol on? Oh, I sold it! We got that Jacob pistol. I don't know why I sold that off. Oops. I thought I didn't need it, but eh, it's all good. So, let's see here. Yeah, just a little bit more to go. Then we'll meet up with Roland, try to save him. He gets, you know, caught, and then the rest is history. Um, I'm trying to think here. Do I want to jump into DLC anytime soon? We could jump into, like, toward DLC or other DLCs and uh, go grab something fun. But I think at the moment we don't really need to gear just yet. But I will definitely be going for, like, Ravagers and stuff later on. Because uh, those are really fun on Krieg. Really fun on a lot of characters, like Axton, Krieg, Gage, uh, Salvador. You know, do a deputy build with the Rustlers. Uh, or not Rustlers, sorry. A, uh... Oop, there we go. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. On the Ravager. Yeah. That. Now, unfortunately, Krieg can't jump over the wall. You guys might have seen the super skip you can do out of bounds to get in the uh, the back of the cell and, like, meet up with Roland and leave the map right away. Krieg can't do it. He has to go the uh, normal path out of bounds, if you call it normal. And it's still a pretty fast path, but, yeah, all the other characters can um, skip this whole entire map. But Krieg can skip, you know, maybe 70% of it. Big portion. Good job, Roland. You did it. Also, how does holding a loader arm, like, trigger the... I'm not going to question that. Anyways, take that. Thank you. And now we got to wait a little bit longer. Also, funny thing here in the cutscene, it says you die on the wall there. It's kind of foreshadowing for Roland. You know, he dies later on. Spoiler alert. And actually, going over here is a little bit faster than waiting for the exploder to blow open the door. So we're going to wait for the door to open here. A lot of people don't know about this door. Yeah, it opens after time passes. I guess I could have went for the red chest over there while waiting. For something to do but not a big deal beautiful and i think we're gonna skip this combat we're over leveled so i'm gonna use this for speed and proceed through maybe get a nice 180 oh i missed whatever i led my shot a little too much there looks like i need a little bit of ammo so i'm gonna shop at the vendor and watch me find like a zero fuse longbow tesla first try when i'm not farming it now it always happens there goes Warden into the area. And funny thing with that Warden, um, I won't spoil it just yet, but when I get up to the arena, I'm going to show you something funny. Okay, we didn't get one, but yeah. Make sure I star those so I don't sell them. And this map is kind of the same thing. We're just going to burn through it. Also, I will pay the toll. Everybody points it out every time I do it or pass by it. There you go. You're welcome. Earning a whopping one XP per kill. And actually, if you go over here, you can cut this corner a little bit sharper. If you jump in this corner. Like that. Oop. Oh, I failed the jump. It's a little bit hard to get caught here. But if you get it first try, you save time. Or if you're any other character than Krieg, you can grenade jump over. Why can't I do this? Okay, I'm invested now. I can't stop doing this. I have to get it. Actually, you can help me out. Thank you. Uh, chest over here. We'll grab that. Even though, again, we're over leveled, we can still find something nice. Like, heck, we could get, like, a Topnia, and that would still be, like, worth it, in my opinion. Or any kind of utility thing, like a stacking grenade. Who would live there? Hmm. 
proceed forward. This guy's in animation, so you can't kill him right now. Same with this dude. Actually invincible. Also level 8. Why are you level 8? What the heck? Huh. Why the weird levels? Pre-fire? Oh, a little too early. Yeah, he spawns every time, so if you want to pre-fire, you can. Here we go. Also, am I going to sacrifice myself to Marcus? Hmm. You know what? There's no reason not to. We're having fun here. Uh, you can live because you never harm anybody and I love you, so. You live. Do the skip, so you jump here, jump up here. And you can barely make a corner jump from here to there. Uh, a lot of people grenade jump that to make it a little bit easier, but you can definitely make it with a normal jump. And grab here. Uh, I got caught on something. There we go. And we can go up and over and skip the combat. And again, the combat's so easy, we don't really have to worry about it. There is a wall here you can't get around, so I will be going uh, around it. Like that. And right here, check it out, check it out. There's a Tito or shield here every time. You might have seen it like when you pass by, like, why is that shield always there? So the warden in the cutscene that went through and like shut the door, he despawns and then always drops a Tito or shield for some odd reason. I don't know why. And then, yeah, you kill the real warden, which spawns right here. And funny thing in a speedrun marathon, somebody actually got a cradle there. Like it rolled as a cradle. So the chance for that's like extremely rare, not very common. But that can't happen. All right, so from here, we hit the save through the wall. Uh, you can hit this corner and hit it. And this mobbing here is not required. You can do it if you want, but it's not required at all. So we could save quit, jump back in, and Roland saved. Somehow he did the combat by himself, I guess. I don't know. Let me swap my mission too. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. You. And of course, we'll go for the sacrifice. I don't see why not. Beautiful. Like, there is that chance we could, you know, roll a world drop here. If I do it, you know, every time I do a run, then eventually I could get lucky. So we stand here and we're going to jump and grab the switch right here. You can barely grab it. And then we're going to burn and die for, I think, the second time now, right? We died at Flint due to a bad skyrocket. And then we died here. So we're doing pretty good on the run. Doing pretty good. I do want to keep the deaths down. Uh, there's no reason, like, not to die in the run. I mean, if I want to, I can. But, uh, you know, it's not a one life, so who cares? But I want to show, you know, the the best ways to get around stuff and not die that much. If I'm dying a lot, then that shows that I'm not doing a good job. And, of course, we got a green dollar bill. Judy Pistol. Pretty cool. Open this too. Maybe get something out of it, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, not terrible stuff. Yeah, level 12. Very underleveled. All right, Roland, we got to go to Sanctuary. You coming? No? Okay. All right. Sanctuary. Anything else I need to do right now? Hmm. Not really. This is kind of the point where you're over leveled and you have all the gear in the world. And you can push forward all the way until like, uh, about after Overlook, I want to say. And that's when you actually start, you know, getting a real build going. Uh, if you want to do that, if you want to take that path. So, talk to you. I guess I could have done the grenade jump to get up there faster, but not a big deal. And we are out of here. The cool thing about this game is once you turn in the objective or talk to Roland or whatever, uh, you're good to go. You don't have to wait on it. And right there, it would have been better if I would have saved quit, but eh, it's all good. Grab a car. And there is a cool card teleport you could do here to save a little bit of time. I will be doing that. So normally you go to the gate and like jump out and then run to the door, but the animation of jumping out is kind of slow. But instead you can go through the backside and hit the mountain or the rocks and get yourself out the car. And there's this back like slit here you can go through and that's your path. Just like that. And for those who don't know, it's a pretty common thing, but you can shoot off the snowman's head here and always get a tinderbox on the story mission. They added this, I guess, to like shoot bar kids to ignite them, you know, for the, the mission up ahead. But obviously there's a better way to do that. And in fact, what we could do here is a nice little cutscene skip. It does save me a little bit of time, but honestly, I usually watch the cutscene by going that direction and it really doesn't waste that much more time, but we're gonna show the efficient method. So they chase me, we poke, or they poke at themselves, check it off. And then we save quit. You can skip the cutscene. Yeah, we got the fast travel. Cool. 
I was a little bit worried about that. If you don't hit it, you spawn back there and have to run back and, you know, it does waste time. Although, is the time loss a big deal? Are we really speed running, right? That'd be really cool to fight that guy. Like, we have all these, like, giant enemy, uh, enemies in the game, right? We have, like, the Leviathan. Um, what's another, like, big boss? Saturn and stuff. But, dude, there's nothing this size. I'm gonna fight that thing so bad. I really hope for, like, future games for, like, BL4, if you get that, we can fight these giant, massive enemies. What do we have in BL3? I'm trying to think here. Grave Ward, you know, you fight the giant boss there. Motan's kind of small, yeah. Hmm. Scourge, not a huge boss. Anathema, not a huge boss. Um, yeah, most of the bosses are pretty average size or a little bit bigger, but we haven't had this, like, you know, Shadow Colossus size boss. It'd be really cool to work on the limbs or something. You know, the arm comes down, gets stuck, and then you uh, take care of that. I don't know. It'd be a cool boss fight. Okay, from here, we're going to try to do a Tina skip. So what you want to do is line up with Tina and aim quite a bit down. And then jump into the cutscene like this. And if you get it just right, you're going to be right in front of Tina when the cutscene ends. And for just a few frames, you can talk to Tina before she teleports to the back of the uh, room here. And that will save time. It's called Tina Talk. Or Tina skip if you want to try that we didn't get it so right there we could have talked to Tina for a frame before she teleported over here and the meet Tina objective would check off but we didn't get it it's a really cool trick a lot of people do it for speed runs and I'm like I've never understood it for the longest time so one day I was like dude why are you uh you know doing that maneuver and stuff and then uh the speed runners like oh you just uh, get Tina talk I'm like what she's in the back of the map what are you talking about and then they showed me how to do it, and I'm like, wait, what? You can do that? I learned it, like, maybe half a year ago. There's still a lot to learn about this game. Like, I know a lot about it, but I don't know everything. Unfortunately, level 15, um, that's the max level for this mission. I could farm this for a quad or ravager, but it's really not worth it at the level we're at. But if you are pushing a little bit more on level or under leveled, you can farm that. Really good mission farm. And we might farm it later on, we'll see. Not sure yet. So from here, we're taking the safe path to skip all the combat. Again, we're over leveled. Not a big deal. The combat's not that hard anyways, so... It's not like we're having a challenge. There we go. And as for Wilhelm, I don't know if I want to farm him. Hmm. I mean, I do need the Logan's gun later on, but we don't need it just yet. So hopefully we get a first try, but if not, then not a big deal. So from here, you can crouch and grab it through the uh, tarp here. And enemies won't attack you. And then we'll go up and around and grab the second Padonkadonk. Also, you can get Lumidgets here, but I I don't know. I, I think I've found one ever. I never find them. But these big boxes can spawn them, if you get lucky. Open that, maybe get something good out of it. Um, well, there's my pistol from earlier, but again, a little bit underleveled. Oh, well. And I have to point it out now because I know about it. There's a floating warning label in the air. Why is it here? Why? Yeah. For the longest time, I would jump off that cliff and never see it. And then one day I actually caught it and I'm like, wait a minute. Has it been right there in my face all along and I just never saw it till now? Quite interesting. There's some stuff in this game that's right in front of your face and you just don't notice it or see it for the longest time. All right. Cut this corner, and we'll save a few seconds. Hop and over. Uh, there is a mission we could do here, but I don't know if I want to do it. No, this map is underleveled. Dude, everything's underleveled right now, which is unfortunate for um, farming anything, I mean. But the Logan's gun, for example, is something we do want underleveled. So if we can get it, that'd be awesome. There you are. Wake up. Buy some ammo. Uh, anything I don't need? Not really. Okay. From here, we gotta wait quite a while for Tina to do her thing, and I actually want to show you something. I've shown it off before, but Tina's supposed to be working on the Bononkadonks, right? But if you jump on this light and, like, parkour your way this way, hopefully- I oh, I failed it. Uh, basically, you can jump on that light, that pole, that light, and jump and look in that window, 
and she's just standing there and there's like flashes going on she's doing nothing exposed all right i really wish there was something to do other than like wait here uh you could go out and kill the enemies or whatnot but i wish there was like a chest or something hidden to uh do in the meantime grab that thank you i don't know i don't, I don't have any like uh what would you even call that I always want to be doing something within the game if I'm waiting. If I'm waiting around, I'd rather save quit to, you know, save time or go out and do something, farm a chest, do anything that benefits the playthrough. But in that room, you literally have nothing to do, unfortunately. All right, cut this corner. This is a really safe map for the most part. Like you can skip most of the combat by just going around things. Maybe a class mod? No class mod. Oh well. Up the ladder whatever don't question it place those maybe some iridium no iridium we are lacking iridium for the playthrough i need to get a little bit more and i wish i did go to fight for sanctuary dlc early on it's a strat i do for a lot of playthroughs and i didn't really do it for this one uh that would have helped quite a bit for you know having a lot of early iridium what can you do also yeah you can jump here it literally does nothing, but, you know, it's kind of cool. You're not supposed to be here. So in your mind, you're like, dude, I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. I love it. Or something the developers don't want you to do. Again, there's something satisfying about doing, like, unintended path or things like that. Or, like, pushing your head through a wall, right? Oh, what we could do here, I... Mm, yeah, we're overleveled. What we could do here is actually down ourselves and spawn right by Wilhelm. All right, we go down here. So if you don't move in the map and like hit the fast travel right in or save station right in front of you, you can down yourself and bleed out and then spawn at the uh, fast travel. You can see there it's not active. So what we're going to do is fast fall ourselves. Third rip for the playthrough, unfortunately. Man, quite a few. I guess we are quite healthy with our health setup right now. Uh, I think Creek falls backwards. Yeah, we're good. So we didn't hit the save. And from here, we're going to spawn at the fast travel all the way at the end of the map. So wait for that. And then I can save quit and skip the animation. And also by save quitting, I don't waste money for respawning, which is nice. And yeah, we're here just like that. So for Wilhelm, not too difficult. We did get that Snyder, which will be very, very nice. And I think we can kill him in like, what, three, four fast balls. I'm going to say three. Yeah, three shots. Nice. You can slag very, very efficiently with the Sniders. And Sniders are very desirable for endgame, too. Did he drop anything good? Nope, not really. I could farm him for one level, but again, we're overleveled. Or actually, we're just going to be on level now after this mission. And honestly, I don't want to farm him right now, to be honest. Honestly, to be honest, who am I rolling? To be honest. The brick mission. The future slab. Also, I'm taking the inefficient route here. I probably should have went to Three Horns Divide. Oh well. If you go to Three Horns Divide instead of going to Sanctuary here, you can spawn um, at the fast travel, drive over, and spawn at the door there. And for speedrunning, it's a little bit faster, so you don't have to... Um, you know, run all the way here on foot. I'm not sure how much faster. I kind of want to time it. Do, do, do. You take that. And you live. You didn't die. Because I'm going to save quit. Alright, to be fair, he does die, which is unfortunate. Uh, he gets hit by a meteor strike or uh, moonshot strike, I should say. Go ahead and go over here. Eat up with Scooter. Now Sanctuary's gonna take off. Forewarning, there could be an audio bug here for loud sounds. I really hope it doesn't happen. I'm pretty sure it only happens if you save quit. But the audio like overlaps and the meteors, I keep calling them meteors. The moon shots get like super duper loud. All right, can we get the line? Don't worry about me, grap. Let's see. 
Oh, it cut off early. Whatever. Also, I never turn my audio back up after Bloodshot. Whoops. Uh, let's do eight and four. Dude, I have so many audio settings. Like when I play offline or stream, it's eight and eight. And then for this video, eight and four. And then for Bloodshot, three and three. You just know what like audio levels to go with. And actually, when I edit my videos, I have to like lower the audio even more so that you can actually hear me without um, the loud sounds. Or the uh, audio in the background. Uh, do we have an Iridium? We have eight Iridium. We can probably get... Mm, what do I need right now? Well, Sniper is my primary, so we can get one more for that. So I will be grabbing that. Thank you. And yeah, let's get out of here. Now, we could have done early Mowgli and Gettle, but I think I'll do that later on, maybe. We'll see. There you go. Also, when you turn it in, these holes, like, go away. So you get to stand on the there. Why is that a thing? I don't know. Wait for the check mark. There it is. I could save quit right now, but, yeah. Normally, people sit here and watch this cutscene of, like, Sanctuary taking off. You gotta wait for the door to activate. Let's skip that. Just save quit. Alright, there we go. And am I going to be going for the Rough Rider? Or, pff, wow. The Fabled Tortoise, sorry. Maybe? Because we can use it for speed. There's no harm in doing so. I'm going to go unlock Costa Caverns. If I want to farm later on. We can farm Costa Caverns for the Fabled Tortoise. We can also do the Mighty Morphin mission if I want to get some XP. It's a really good map overall for getting a lot of stuff for your playthrough. Alright, that's ball, still one shot. And now enemies are on level, at least for this map. There we go. And we're gonna skip most of them. I am stuck on something. I was gonna skip most of them. Melee's looking good. And then from here we can jump off and, you know, go straight to the bottom. You don't have to run the whole map. Woo! Plop! There we go. Also, I've done this before a long time ago, but this door is not solid. You can walk right through it. Uh, don't walk off the map. I wasn't paying attention once, and yeah, you know what happens. <laughs> Alright, from here, this map is weird. So, the fast travel, if I, you know, check it out right now. Wait for it. Come on. Costa Caverns. Oh, well, it's here now because I uh, was standing and checking it, but if you don't open the fast travel and look at it or whatnot... You have to run all the way over here, past this, like, you know, door, or the switch, and then run back. The game's gonna save in the corner. Yeah, and I will unlock Costa Caverns to fast travel. So odd. And that happens for a few maps, like this map, uh, the fridge, um, Moxie's Bar in Torg DLC. A few maps do that. I guess because you're unlocking it and not really saving at it for the first time, so you gotta wait for it to activate, and then you can go back and hit it. It's probably an oversight. Alright, door. And from here, actually, level 18. Yeah, we're doing good right now. Because if you're level 18 and turn in the mission uh, for rising... Uh, I was going to say rising shot. Rising action. Then it will scale the um, Clan Wars mission to level 18. And it will scale the Mobile and Gettle mission to level 18. And also scale the... Uh, what's the other one? There was one more. I can't recall. But yeah, it will scale your missions in Sanctuary after you get back to level 18. If I was level 17 right now and turned it in, then Clan Wars would be 17 and uh, probably get all 17. So make sure you are level 18 if you want to get the max level rewards. There we go. Oop. And this is one of the missions where you can't be level 17, turn it in, and be level 18 after. Like for the fastball, you can be level 12, turn it in, and be level 13 after and get a 13 fastball. For this one, you have to be 18 before you um, turn that in. It's an odd quest. This game's weird, like I said. The scaling's very, very odd. Alright, to the fridge we go. And I think that's what we're going to call it today, because coming up, we do have quite a bit of combat to do. Required combat. Anyways, I do want to say one more time, I do appreciate the positive feedback. Uh, you guys make my day. You guys make my morning. I get up and eat breakfast, and I read my comments, and... Everybody's having a good time, and I super duper appreciate it. I've even seen some comments that people go all out and like type a, a whole story about like why they love the playthroughs, or I've been watching it for years and stuff, and it makes me feel good. I, I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. You guys rock.
But yeah, unfortunately, we have to call it there. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see some more Borderlands content, then be sure to drop a sub. You guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Bye.